Hello, my beings, and welcome back to my daily moonbeam readings. I am Luna Ray, and today is Friday, April 13th. Yep, that's right. It's a Friday the 13th. And how is this going to affect us? Sometimes it's all out of whack on Friday the 13th. Sometimes it's like every other day. Let's see how it is today. We're still in a waning crescent that's in Pisces, and it's going to move into Aries at the end of the day today. So it's really still not a time for starting anything new, unless you're me and you're a rebel. <laughs> but really you wanna be finishing things up, winding down and completing tasks that you've been working on. We're nearing the end also of three weeks of Mercury in retrograde. So what does this mean? I just figured out, and it's really cool. I mean, really, most people don't know what that means. You hear it thrown around a lot, and you just kind of go, oh, yeah, yeah, or, yeah, it's cool. I don't know, it just messes me up. And you're like, what the heck is that? What it means is that the planet of Mercury appears to be moving backwards. It's not, it's an optical illusion, but it still throws things out of whack. Mercury is the planet of communication, so that's what's affected. That's why technology and people skills and interactions and business partners and things at work or what's messed up, talking to people in disagreements or misunderstandings, just out of whack. Don't worry, we're nearing the end of this. As I said, it's not today, we have two more days, it ends the 15th, but it began March 22nd, so it feels like it's been dragging forever. So what is this Friday the 13th going to be like for you? We're going to do Virgo, and let's shuffle these cards and see what they have to say. I have a nifty book, by the way, Virgo, that tells what the year is going to be like, 2018, the whole year for all the signs, nifty little horoscope book. And unfortunately, today is going to be a more stressful day. And I just did Aries reading, my husband's an Aries. <laughs> and yeah, no, if you want to look at it and check it out, you can. It looks as though, for some of us Percos, today might be a very stressful day. But on the other hand, it's going to be a great day for love and money. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Probably because both things are while incredibly rewarding and necessary, incredibly stressful. Um, so try to remember and maintain positivity if any stress comes up for you, Virgo. Let's see what these cards say. All right, card number one. Card number two, and card number three. So Virgo, let's set the rest of these aside in case we need to draw any for a little more info. And let's see what these have to say. So number one here, this eight of diamonds, is your day as a whole, Virgo. And again, it's a money day, and looky there, there's a bunch of money. Looks like a lot of money is coming your way, Virgo, and that's what your day as a whole is gonna be about. The Eight of Diamonds um, is, blah, blah, blah. this is my book I wrote, don't worry, I'm not cheat cheating from somebody else's words, it's years of research here, is the eyes. So not only do we have money, so for some of us it's money, but also for some of us, this is telling us to be watchful, and that's what our day as a whole will be about, is us watching out. And there's a good amount of money coming for now, but you really want to be aware of your spending. Try to budget and save. This money is eventually gonna be needed more than you need it today. Um, so really try to manage it well. It's unexpected, but and it's coming your way eventually, but really don't count your chickens before they count. And be aware of just yourself throughout the day and maintaining positivity throughout any stress that might come your way. And remember, you know, hey, I've got this money coming. I have 
love and I have people that care about me. And so I'm not going to let this stress get to me. I'm going to shake it off. But I'm going to be aware of my situations and watching out. Uh, number two is what is important, what you need to be mindful of today, Virgo. And we have here the six of hearts. This is a family love, a lot of family love, a dear old friend, um, your spouse, uh, your brother, somebody very, very close to you. And, do, 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 do. sorry. Um, yeah, the deep love relationship, friendship. And it's a, something and someone that you're very emotionally secure with. You're really going to be crushing a lot of your goals and really achieving what you've wanted to and just jumping over obstacles. So that stress that you're feeling, you're gonna be hopping right over it and you're surrounded by love, Virgo. And you really help people and you help those who need it and you have a very caring heart and you have the ability to help these people. But remember not to give all of yourself. You have a tendency to really give too much and help too many people, Virgo. Beware of those who take too much. Don't be too generous, Virgo. Be mindful of this. It's important. Big heart is amazing. It's wonderful. But just don't let anybody take you for granted, Virgo. Okay? And then we have the number three card. What to embrace to have your best day today, Virgo? And here I have love. Your purest love of all. So love with a spouse love with your family. Um, it appears upside down to me, but it's right side up to you. So, I mean, there could be some of you out there who are having some trouble in your relationship and you just need to embrace that no matter what troubles you go through, you still love this person and really just embrace your relationship with them. And also embrace yourself and love yourself and embrace who you are and really just celebrate that to have a great day today. There might be some stress coming your way. Shake it off and say, you know what? I'm awesome. I am Virgo. I am a woman. Unless you're a man, but still you could be a woman, you know? And hear me roar, no matter who you are. Roar out loud that you love you. <laughs> Anyhow, until tomorrow, I hope today's a great day. Bye, Virgo. Thank you.